Hi everyone, today I'm going to do a sketchbook tour. I've been wanting to do one of these for a while, but I didn't have a way to do an overhead setup until now. And uh, we're going to do this one that I finished off in the last vlog. This one I started in 2014 and then obviously I skipped a year and then I skipped several years and uh, finally finished it. I don't like doing it this way because that's very chaotic and I like a little bit more, but uh, it is what it is. And I've got, unfortunately, about, I think, six sketchbooks like this. This starts out in, like I said, it says 2014, but this picture says 2013, so might need to fix that. This one is uh, some, these are some artworks that I did when I was teaching. I was teaching my students in kindergarten through fifth grade how to do gesture drawing. And again, this one was 2013. I typically draw on the right side and then put notes or thumbnail sketches or reference pictures or some kind of inspiration on this side but I found out as I was going through this one that I had a bunch of white space on this side I hadn't used it like that since I had been mainly using it as a demonstration for my students so then I went back and this one's in October of 2020 when I was going back to study how to do portraiture so I'm gonna have some older drawings on this side and some newer ones on this side. This one, again, is 2013. This one, 2013 and 2020. So you can judge for yourself if I've made any improvement, but most of the pictures that are on this side were just examples that I did really quick and uh, wasn't trying to impress. I was just trying to show, demonstrate simply how to do gesture drawings for my students. And, uh, So we're still in 2013 and 2020. On this one, we got into 2014. After I showed my kindergarten students how to do gesture drawings, we did gesture drawings with dinosaurs. I had some little pictures that I would set up and then I would show them how to, to get the uh, line of action and use basic shapes to draw dinosaurs. And on this side, I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying to hold this a little closer. But I was doing a picture of Nubia, Wonder Woman's sister, in the uh, in an outfit similar to in Black Panther. I can't remember what the name of the, the women are that are the princess guard. But I was trying to make a combination of Wonder Woman's outfit and their outfit. So this is 2014 and still 2020. I was having a lot of trouble doing portraiture. I can't uh, seem to get it quite right, but uh, obviously there was one I liked on that page. And this is kind of where I was, I was talking myself through a uh, breakthrough I was having because the book I was reading, it was one of Andrew Loomis' books on how to do portraits. And there was one step that I wasn't quite understanding and then I realized because it was left out. I saw it on another YouTube video and it kind of just things started to click after that. The fun thing about the dinosaur drawings I was doing with the kindergarten is I hung up their their sketches in the hallway and one of the fifth grade teachers when she was bringing her class in said, 
wow, fifth grade's getting really good at drawing. And I was like, no, that's, that's kindergarten. That's a nice thing about kindergarten though, they're fearless. And that was a drawing that just did not turn out well. There are a lot of those. I think, I think pretty much everyone has those in their sketchbook. This was a little weird dream I had of this, I guess the superhero, but she had a long pencil skirt. I'm not sure how well that would work, but you know, a study I did oops, at the Philbrook Museum in Tulsa. And this one's from 2022, this, this year, and this is when I started doing figure drawing at the Arts on Main just down the street. I was at this point on this side, I'm not sure what year that is, but I was doing a, uh, trying to come up with an idea for some Ashcan comics. And some more ideas. This is a picture I was doing of one of my characters, Eileen, as Captain America. And... It wasn't turning out on this page very well. I didn't have it, I didn't have it proportioned right on the page. So then I tried another drawing, which I thought turned out considerably better. But then I decided I want to, at some point, ink this and ended up drawing it on cord here and as you can see the more you do something the better it's going to get so if you're having problems with something and a lot of times this is what I do is I just I just stop and move on to the next page which this was a picture of one of my characters is Loki and it didn't turn out very well, but this one I liked quite a bit. And away in 2020 and she inspired a lot of artists. I just did this little picture. She was always drawing this picture of these beautiful girls with all these stars and everything and I just kind of wanted to capture some of her spirit in that picture. So we're done in 2022. I don't know what was happening here. <laughs> Moment of chaos. This was when I was still drawing on the right side of the page. This is this is 2020. And at that point, I went back to the beginning of the sketchbook. Oh, gosh, it's chaos. Sheer chaos. And this is 2020 and 2021. So at this point, I was using a little bit more of both sides. As usual with my pictures I will end up with one that looks really like oh I'm really happy with that and then the one right after it what happened I don't know I don't know what happens this it's the same when I go to the figure drawing classes here's the little logo that I was making for our ad the, the design right here was designed by Tamron, and I will link their, their YouTube page down below. They did this really nice design, and then I put it onto a little card. Just brainstorming video ideas for YouTube. And at this point, we're getting into some of the ones that you might have seen this 
here. Oh, this is 2021. And these are 2021. These are some that I did with the Fort Smith Regional Art Museum on their Ram Sketch Zoom class that they have once a week. And we were doing gesture drawing in those as well. I did for, I don't know, I decided Harry Potter characters needed uh, different dueling uniforms for each of the four houses. And if you go to my Patreon, you'll be able to see, see these a little bit better. I'll link that below. And here we are to 2021, another Ram sketch picture, and 2022. Uh, this was a 10 minute sketch that then I took and did in another style challenge. It's a picture I did for Timber that I never quite finished. I was not completely happy with it, but now that I look at it, I kind of like it. And another from Ram Sketch in 2021. These are from Figure Drawing 2022. So we're going to have some Ram Sketch on the right and some Figure Drawing on the left. Ram Sketch. that I just started and didn't quite finish, but I got what I wanted out of them. Sometimes that happens. You don't have to always feel like you need to finish something. sketch where we're talking about the different elements of art. I'm not sure about YouTube's policies on artistic nudity, so we will just leave that there for now. So now we're getting into where I've done 2022 on both sides of the page.
sure to subscribe to see my progress. See you next time.